Welcome back to Innovation RC. This is gonna be part four. Now, what the heck does that mean? If you've been following the Havao Hyper GTB that I received from Island Hobby Nut, we are doing an extreme makeover and we're gonna be turning this thing into something really special. Now, today we have this beautiful carbon fiber chassis from Iron Man RC. We're also gonna be installing a bunch of other cool things also from Island Hobby Nut, as well as Iron Man RC, on this beautiful thing right here. Previous video, part three, which I would recommend you watch before watching this one, we completely broke down the GTB GTR so it can be ready for its carbon fiber chassis replacement. Now, if you guys haven't seen Innovation RC on Instagram, I would recommend looking at it. There's some healthy things on there that I'm sure you'll find interesting. So I've been waiting a good solid month to build this car up and put on the carbon chassis. I am so hyped and if you're hyped as well, make sure you drop a like and subscribe because there's gonna be a lot more cool things just like this. So without any further ado guys, let's hop into this. And I will also say I appreciate RC Boca for letting me actually use their shop all the way in the back after hours so we could do this. This is gonna be really cool. Alrighty, so catching up from previous video, this is gonna be part four. We are gonna be mounting this it's not even a car. The front and the rear end of the GTB on this awesome carbon fiber chassis from Iron Man RC. This thing is a 100% carbon fiber. Not an ounce of it is aluminum or metal. There's just these couple little spacers over there. And you have the front little kick up that needs to be slightly bent up to give you that correct differential placement. So yeah, guys, 100% carbon fiber. This thing is really, really nice. It's super lightweight. Could almost play Frisbee with it. <laughs> yeah, don't. And in part two, when we ran the car over 100 miles an hour, but there was too much air that was coming up underneath the body. Now we can see the difference in the chassis, right? Uh, there's a lot of air that actually caught underneath and made the body parachute. That is a no, 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 no. We don't want that happening. We need to solve that issue. This here is gonna block out probably a good 80% of all of our air issues. Now we also have this beautiful tower to tower brace that's gonna give us a lot more options for mounting positions if we want to move our ESCs anywhere. Now I'll get more into that right after. Uh, beautiful carbon chassis brace. I love chassis braces like this. They just give you an infinite amount of room to really work with. Oh, it's almost cheating in my honest opinion. It's giving you all the room in the world and it's just, there's no reason to not go with this. And the Habao GTB doesn't even have a tower to tower brace. So this is just a flat out upgrade right here. I'm super excited to have this car. It's just gonna be so high quality. I can't wait. This is the adjustable motor mount, sweet motor mount. You can mount pretty much any motor in this. Really, really nice from Island Hobby Nut. This car is just getting a complete makeover. Now this is the whole bearing kit from Iron Man RC that I also got from Island Hobby Nut. Now here is an example of the beautiful ceramic bearing that the spool is spinning on. Uh, I'm not gonna have you guys watch until it's done, but I pretty much took an extra 10, 20 seconds just to pick the camera back up to show you guys. So uh, yeah, this is real. <laughs> you guys can see how little resistance there are in these bearings. And we're gonna be installing it on the GTB today additionally. So we're gonna see a big difference regarding efficiency as well when we need to put power down, really using less power. So we have to put less power down. That's only gonna be better on the battery, less voltage drop, which means more voltage in general. More voltage means more speed. Yeah, uh, I, it's probably gonna be dark out by the time this thing is done spinning, but you guys get the point. <laughs> now, as for the electronics, we had our 1250 kV Arma motor. Now, this is the OG Arma motor, so you have your little heat sinks on them as well. Very, very good motor. 2050 kV can run up to 6S LiPo. Uh, yeah, it's good, but we're going with something a little bit bigger and higher RPM. Dangerous motor. Now this whopping motor is a 1721, 2400 kV. You can run this up to 8S, but it's a true weapon if you decide to put that much power into this. But I don't exactly intend to do that because I want this to be a very efficient, very lightweight build. So we don't even need that power to get a solid speed. Um, 2400 kV, that's a real high kV if you're running 6S or even 8S. 8S at 2400 kV is honestly, that's gonna draw a lot of amps and might choke an ESC. So I am done talking. I'm on Honestly, boring myself. I want to hop into this time lapse, and I'm I, I'm just itching right now. I really am. All right, so let's hop into this.
not even going to count this as a step, but I'm just going to put a couple antenna tubes over here and probably glue them up on the shock tower, make sure they're looking up and that they're away from the electronics. Uh, I'm just going to do that when I get home, but that's like nothing. So, uh, yeah. So if you just leave them dangling here, that could also cause interference. And if they go backwards, you could actually, you know, get some uh, EMF, which is electromagnetic interference. You really don't want to have these things dangle around. So we're definitely going to be installing a couple antenna tubes on each side, and it's just going to be super clean that way. Now, we are just about done with this guy. As you can see, we're about 99.8% done. Now, why I actually took that gear off is to actually spin the whole transmission and drivetrain, as you guys can see. I'm gonna put it into the little stub axle grub holder, and I'm just gonna spin it with my driver, very lightly. Everything sounds smooth. Everything is consistent. Very, very nice. Super low resistance with the whole bearing kit from Iron Man RC. Now that's really a big thing that I love doing. Taking off this gear, you pretty much just see if everything is running smoothly in the whole transmission, drivetrain, and all that. Make sure nothing is too tight, nothing is binding, there's no resistance. And tell you the truth, guys, it is super duper smooth. Very, very nice. Now we have the gear back on, everything is attached, motor is in line, everything is meshed correctly. Now we're 99.9% done. Now we actually have to put power to it. We have a remote over here, as you guys can see, GTR. That is the current name of this guy. So the absolute last step that we need to do is calibrate and make sure everything is electrically correct. Because yeah, we have a big motor, big ESC, we have good electronics, yada, yada, yada. Well, we need to make sure they're all in sync, everything is smooth without actually spinning it with a uh, drill gun. Now I have eight millimeter bullets on there and I forgot to bring a battery. We actually have a little adapter and let's run on low voltage, so a 4S. All right, so I have the battery in place and a quick little side note, I don't care what battery you guys run, but no matter how low the resistance is of the cells, if you include any adapters in any of your wires, well, you're going to just induce more resistance and that's pretty much just gonna negate it. Uh, yeah, do not run adapters if you are doing some real high speed stuff. You really gotta make sure you're running as efficient with as little resistance possible, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna have to calibrate it, so what I need to do really quick is actually turn it on, hold full throttle, so let me actually position this. I hate doing it this way, but it's just gonna be easier to grab it like that. So I'm gonna have to turn it on, hold full trigger, and that's just gonna enter calibration mode. And then we're gonna give her a couple revs, make sure she's running smooth. Full throttle should be green. Yup. Full reverse. Neutral. Now we should see a solid yellow light. Nice. Calibrated right. We have our steering. Very nice. It's not 100%, so it's not going to be all over the place. Now our throttle. Fingers crossed. Nice, nice, nice. The dead band is like nothing. It's I put it lower on the castle data log. So I pretty much tuned the ESC just more for speed. All right, so here is our first bench test. Pretty much a brand new car. So let's see what it's gonna be like. Nice and smooth. Alrighty guys, so we're pretty much done here. We are 100% done, calibrated, and very smooth. I really want to thank Island Hobby not for sending this vehicle to me. I know I've said it a couple times, but this car really means a lot to me. I put a lot of time, a lot of work into it, and I just, it's just beautiful. I also really want to thank Iron Man RC for making some really kick-ass parts. You know, this stuff is like, it's real deal carbon. It's not like the fake carbon where it's just not even carbon fiber. You know, this stuff is real, super high quality, and I just really want to give a shout out to him. Very, very good carbon stuff, and I know that he makes a lot more stuff, not just for this car, also for the Limitless VTE2, which is going to be pretty 
pretty much the larger, longer brother of this guy that's meant to go after the Arma Limitless or Infraction. Shout out to Castle Creations for making kick butt electronics as well. I really appreciate how this whole car has come together. I am super excited to run this thing. I'm just itching to get out. That's going to be part five though. Make sure you tune in next week and we're going to see how well this guy does. So what I did post on Instagram, because I don't actually have a new official name for this guy, it's just GTR, GTB, whatever. I want there to actually be a legit name for this guy. So on Instagram, I did actually post a story asking you guys to give me a couple names or whatever you have in your mind for this guy. Once again, guys, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more because I am pretty darn ready to run this thing. So as always, guys, make sure you stay safe and have a good one.